Guess what? Today, we're doing interesting foods food review. No, it's just a hodgepodge of random stuff we found in Walmart. Yeah, it's just random garbage. Without further ado, this is a review of just a bunch of uh, we decided cookies and soda or cookies and carbonated beverages, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. We just walked through the aisles and we decided what we wanted yeah, to try. Three we were, I, I pointed to random stuff and I was like, have you tried that before? And Chris Dane was like, either, yeah, I've tried that or haven't tried that. And if he said that, I was like, well, you're trying it today. Yep, we're so, trying it. Um, I think we're gonna start with uh, the a little more obscure brand. Oh my. I had uh, this brand as a common snack when I worked at camp on the song. Tate's, Andrew Tate's cookies. What the hey? Andrew Tate, you can see it says Tate. That must mean Andrew Tate, right? Andrew Tate made that. Um, the flavor is lemon and they're My cookies. grandma just texted me. <laughs> My grandma. The flavor is lemon. And they are in fact cookies, so they are lemon cookies. They even said that tates were good. That's trouble. Okay, the packaging. Here, Hold on. Here. Hold on. Okay. Aha! Here we go. Here we go. So that's the top. I think. Well, I think this might have been the Walmart trouble because I know sometimes things can get banged up. But the cookies on this package are not looking too good. But this one is looking good. But good packaging review. I mean, the packaging uh, six is... 6 out of 10. Right. 6 out of 10. Because this is solid. This one's good, but... And the packaging good. itself is soft. It's fancy. It's nice, but the bag... It's like a... One of those donut bags, actually. Yeah. Yep. It folds down. All right, without further ado, we're going to try these cookies. Remember to like and share. On this really interesting video. I just video. my steering wheel. <laughs> this is my... Yeah, it's okay. All right, guys. Here we go. Lucky shake. It's lucky like lucky shake. <laughs> All right. Mm. Aluga. Aluga. You can taste the lemon right at the start and then it goes away. It's not too strong, but it's strong enough to work. It's like it's a good. crunchy little sugar cookie. It's a nice crunch, too. It's good. The flavor's good. It's a nice crunch. Mm hmm. Aluga, me likey. I'd give this 15 out of 10. I really like this cookie. I would actually pick this up and eat them. They're good. I'm gonna give it an 18 out of 10. I love crunchy stuff. And lemon. Yeah. Fantastic cookie. Mm hmm. I, I'd sit down, dream in black and white too, and eat these cookies. Yep. Hey, I need a whole bag. I'd be addicted. I'm All right. Ready. 18. What do you got? 15? I guess there's 15 out of 10. 18 out of 10. Really Fantastic. It might go up depending on the other options. All right. Well, our next Chip Ahoy's Red Velvet. I saw it. I wanted the peanut butter ones, but, but Chris already Zane already had it. Those are we good. have to have genuine reviews. Only genuine reviews on yeah. this channel. We can't no have, fake. No, no we're fake. We're not fake, biggest We hater. don't eat stuff off camera. Yeah, jerk. We never have and never will. All right. So I'm opening it. And it opens just like any other Chips Ahoy package. It's just your standard Chips Ahoy Chips packaging, Ahoy. you know. Those look very red. I mean, they're red velvet, so. They smell? I think the, they're, the they chew, smell? they're the chewy ones, too. They look kind of black. So I don't know right. if you're a fan of chewy or crunchy. Kinda, there you go. I don't know if you're a fan of chewy or crunchy chips away, but uh, these are the chewy ones. Yeah. And they're supposed to have, let's do a <coughs> separate test first. Let's see what that's like. Oh, that's not how I thought it would go. Why? I thought it was gonna like. It's got little out. filling in the middle of it, too. It's got some little filling in the middle. So, I guess I'm gonna try it. I thought it was gonna be sweeter. Me too. 
but it's not that's not as sweet as I thought it would be. Which I think is a good thing. Because when a cookie is way too sweet, then you're like, oh. I'm not gonna lie, I thought these were gonna be too sweet. I like them, but I don't like them as much as the Andrew Tate's lemon cookies. No, I don't like them as much yeah. because Andrew Tate's cookies are always really good. I give this a um, a, a standard 10 out of 10. I will as well. I really like it, but like, you know, it's a good cookie. It's, good. it's a good cookie that I'd it's snack not on. Bad, I wouldn't eat. I wouldn't eat too many of them. Yeah. It's not overly like sweet, three. but you know. Good cookie. If it was sitting there, I'd definitely choose it over a lot of other chips of life flavors, that's for sure. Yeah. But, anyway. Our third and final cookie. I'm expecting to like this one almost as much as Andrew Tate's lemon. Peanut butter. We have peanut butter Oreos. Like I said, I'm pretty sure they're gonna open just as the same as any Oreo. standard Oreo packaging. Same yep. Size. No, they look Oreos. Solid. I, smell, I can smell the peanut butter. I can smell it too. There you it go. smells just like peanut butter. Hey, Owen, Owen, we know you want some. Oh, Chris wow. Owen, we know you want some. You know, Chris Owen. You know, Owen really loves peanut butter. Chris yeah. Owen really loves peanut butter, guys. His favorite. You should tell him. Guys, how, if, this you should 10, tell him. if this gets 10 likes, whenever we see Owen in his sleep, we'll smear peanut butter all over him. And bananas. <laughs> 10 likes and bananas. Yeah. <laughs> And sesame seeds, we'll do that too. Yeah. If this gets 10 likes only. And strawberry point. Alfredo. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Well. <laughs> yep. I like it. I don't like it at all. I love it. I do. It's not good. I think it's good. Mm -hmm. It's like another butter, but Oreo. I think they're better. Really? Yeah. Probably because it has more peanut butter on mm -hmm. it. Average nutter butter. It tastes like another butter. It's like Nabisco. It tastes the same. It's the same, same brand. It's so like the same brand type. So it's Nabisco peanut butter. Yeah. It's like the stuff they have in nutter butters, but it's like it's the chocolate cookie. It. That's actually quite good. I think it's a tie with the. You know what? I think I prefer the peanut butter one. Really? I'm gonna have another but one. But I'm gonna make it. I'll give it 18 out of 20. Or 18 out of 10, I mean. Whoa! Hey, I, I, 18 out of 10! 18 out of 10! That's like, that's like a. Like a mm. Mm. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like a 9 out of 10, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> I think it's an 18 out of 10. I'm gonna give it an 18 out of 10, too. Because. I like it as much as the Andrew Tate cookies. I like it. But it's like really it. good. Like I said. After all those cookies, I'm a little bit thirsty. Yeah, same. I'm feeling bucked up. This and is guess what? bucked up energy drink. <laughs> bucked up energy drink. Because we're country boys. <laughs> we like trucks. I live in <laughs> <the> country. <laughs> I drive a Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the flavor we have here is rocket pop. And it's pop. American. The flavor we have is rocket pop. Uh, bug chub. It's an energy drink. Uh, typically, I don't drink energy drinks, but, you know. I'll, get I'll make an exception because I'm about to get bugged up. I'll tell you what. I'm about to get bugged up, <laughs> but I did, this better get me. Great damn my truck, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm not having to do another time when I do this drink. I'll tell you what, right. bro. Well, I opened it. It, oh, says, it says zero sugar, but <laughs> I don't believe that. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, without further ado. I'm getting excited. <laughs> All right, oh. transitioning from Country Boy. I don't like it. I like it a lot, actually. I think it's really good. I mean, okay. It tastes like strawberries. I mean... I don't dislike it. I it's like okay. Stuff. It tastes kind of bland to me. I like the flavor. I get how you can see it as well. Maybe because it's zero sugar. Oh, but zero sugar? Yeah, I guess. I didn't even know it was zero sugar. Yeah, you it is. It? 
I'll give them compliments to that because I thought maybe none of them sugar. I don't know. It tastes. I, it's all right. I, I mean, sugar. yeah. What I if I was handed one, would I drink it? Yeah, it's fun. I mean, <coughs> but I'm not a, particularly a fan. I wouldn't go out of my way to drink this. I like this. <laughs> 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 nah. Dude, we, I choked on it the same too when I first drank it because it was that got me buffed up. Well, I'm finished with mine for now. I'll, I'll finish it. Like I'm gonna finish it. I need another one. See about cookies, man. <laughs> They're so good. Let me see. I'm gonna take it. Good. We saved the best for last. All right, guys. Well, Matt Rufo's favorite soda. He told me himself because he's a girl. What? No! Not yet. Not yet. Here's what we're doing. We have a Dr. Pepper hater in the car. His name is Chris Zane. And Dr. Pepper has this newish flavor called strawberries and cream. And that sounded fantastic. And I was like, dude, that's gotta be good. I love Dr. Pepper because I'm a man. That's a ghost. <laughs> it's a universal... Drink. Girls drink, but here we go. We got it. We got a twelve pack of them. I love strawberries and cream stuff. Oh, I love. love I love <laughs> Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> strawberries and cream specifically. See what Dr. Pepper's doing? He likes cream stuff now. It's true proof. It's a girl's drink. No. I love strawberries and cream stuff. <laughs> Kid. Kid. <laughs> anyway. Uh, when I pointed it, I said strawberries and cream, and then the kid was like, oh, that sounds good. I'm like, it's Dr. Pepper. He's like, no. But he's going to have, he's going go go to go in, get going. He's going to go into it. I live in my inner And he's going to give it the benefit of the doubt, right? I'll give it. I'll sniff, I'll have the sniff test. It smells really strawberry. Yes, it does. I'm, I'm sensing strawberry Fanta vibes here. Out. Here we go. Uh, and I'm doing an honest review. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pander here. All right. Dude. That's way less strong than I thought it was gonna be. Me too. But like I said, same thing with the velvet cookies. That's to its advantage. I don't really taste the cream. Do you not like it? No, I, I think it's fine. I like it, but... I love I, it. I thought it would be cream. I can taste it. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm just tasting the strawberry. Like you thought it was going to be a cream soda? Yeah, I thought it was going to be like more cream soda tasting with strawberry. But I, guess I, I can know. taste the cream. The strawberry flavor itself I is, can kind of taste the The cream. strawberry flavor itself is like a creamish flavor. Yeah. That's what Which I was is good. I love. And then I also love the flavor of Dr. Pepper, which Kate apparently doesn't like. So I like this is okay. Cause here, I'm. Um, I don't. The thing about Dr. Pepper is like, um, I'm assuming it's supposed to be a cherry soda, like from the flavor. But Dr. Pepper? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, There's no. To me, it tastes flavor. like a cherry flavor, and I just. I think the. Pib or cherry coke. Pib is the best. That's the best. Mm -mm. The pib is so good. Literally. Type in the comments if you like pib. I love pib, but it's not as good as that. It is. That's good. It's not. It's good. even better. It's not. I give this a seven out of ten. Oh what? I'm giving it a solid fifteen. I love this. I think it's okay. It's my favorite. I wouldn't I'm, get it. I'm going home and I'm making a, a an ice cream float out of this stuff it's tonight. Uh, Ooga. Good for a one-time try. Wow. But I like Bucked Up better. It's because I'm a born natural country man. A naturally born American. Gun shooting. Rootin' tootin'. Cousin kissing. Country boy. Yep. Amen. That's what he is. That's what I am too. Amen. That's why the best one here is Bucked Up. Bucked up wins the review. Amen. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, Tate's, Tate's
Tate's, Andrew Tate's cookies and peanut butter Oreo tie for the win here. My favorite drink I would give, my favorite drink would be Bucked Up. This I one like for me. It, I like this way better. And I give Bucked Up like 30 out of 10. I liked it a lot. What? I thought it was 30. Good. Oh, I thought it was a good flavor. Holy crap! I'll give it like a ten. Yeah, I, a ten. I liked it a lot for some reason. I'm giving it a ten out of ten because it was good. Damn. And then for cookies, I'd say Oreo, and then a very close, like close behind the Tate's. Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate cookies. Dude, they're so good though. They're both so good. They are both good. The Chips Ahoy ones were also okay. It was a solid cookie. Yeah. Now we gotta figure out who takes them home. Who takes them home? Who takes them home? Should we give them to the homeless? Crater. <laughs> Crater. <laughs> Are you out here? Are you watching? Comment. Crater, if you comment, then we'll give you some. We'll buy you. We know. Because you know, well, that by the know. time this video is out, we're already home. Mm -hmm. Because we'll be streaming. Our black and white two series. Are we doing that tonight? Yes. Oh my goodness. I have to edit this. Anyway. Subscribe. Like and subscribe to Chris Invaders. Like and subscribe. Ah! Or we'll kill you. Yeah. Or we'll kill you.